Welcome to Green Numbers Data Tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to read a comma delimited file to a Python pandas data frame. A CSV or comma separated value file is one that separates the data columns with a comma. For example, here we see a data set describing COVID hospitalizations in California. The top row contains the headers for the data file. All subsequent rows contain the data. You can see that all of our headers and data are separated with a comma. So Santa Clara is in the county column and March 29th, 2020 is in the today's date column and 141.0 is in the hospitalized COVID confirmed patients column and so on. In order for us to process these data or run statistics, we need to import them into something like a Python pandas data frame. And I'm gonna show you how to do this now. This is a Jupyter Notebook, which was one of the easiest tools to learn and use Python, and is part of the Anaconda Python package. If you don't already have Python and you're into data science, and I highly encourage you to download and, and install Anaconda, I put a link in the description. So first off, because we're going to be creating and using data frames, we need to import the pandas package. I'm using the alias PD, which is the standard, but you can use whatever you want. Let's run this. In the next line, I show you how to change the working directory from the default. In this case, I'm changing the directory to the path shown here. And at the beginning, I show you how to import a CSV file from this path. But later on, I'll show you how to import a file from another location. So let's run this too. To read in a CSV to a data frame can be as simple as what's shown here. From the pandas package, we're using the read CSV function to read in our COVID file, the one I showed you earlier. The dot before the backslash points us to our working directory, which is where our file is stored. We're saving our new data frame to the variable my data frame. So let's run this. And if we run my data frame, we see that our data imported as we expected. Santa Clara is under county. This date is under the today's date column. And this number right here is under hospitalized COVID confirmed patients. And you can see that when a value is blank, as it is for hospitalized COVID patients, the value appears as NAN or not a number. But what if we don't have a header? How do we name our columns? In the next block, we see the same code that we used earlier, except we're reading in a different data file. This one is named COVID no headers. Because this file doesn't have headers, I included header equals none. So now we need to tell Python the names of our columns. And luckily for us, this data set includes a data dictionary. And we're going to use this information to help us. We see in column A the column names. For our purposes, we need these column names in quotes separated by a comma because we're going to put these into a list variable. An easy way to do this is to use an Excel formula. So let's insert a new column and set it equal to a single quote inside double quotes like this, followed by an ampersand, then our column name, followed by another ampersand, followed by a quote and a single quote, and a comma and a space and another double quote. The end result is county inside single quotes, followed by a comma. Now we can apply this formula to all the columns. And then we copy all of these cells and then paste them into our code. Let's turn this into a list by saving it to the variable name headers and then closing it in square brackets. We then need to add names equals headers to our read CSV function. So our function knows where to get the headers. So let's run this. Now let's take a look at our data frame. We can see that it read in correctly with the correct headers. We can also use D types to list the data types associated with each column. We can see that our first two columns have an object data type, which is a string, and the other columns are float, which is a number. Let's tell Python to import all of these as strings during our import. And to do that, we need to create a dictionary to define our data types during import. So let's copy our header list and paste it below. 
And let's change this to a dictionary by adding curly braces. And setting all of these to string by adding a colon followed by str in quotes. Now let's just go ahead and copy this and paste it after each of these column names. Now let's name our new dictionary data types. We also have to tell our read CSV function where to find the data type values. To do that, we type dtype equals data types. And remember, data types is the name of the dictionary we created. So let's run this again. And then our mydataframe.dtypes. And now we see that all of our columns are of object type or string. Now in reality, if we just wanted to import all of these columns as string, then we could just type dtype equals str. Let's get rid of this right here. And then run this again, and then this again. And we can see that we got the same result. But usually you want a mixture of different data types. And by using that dictionary, we can define specifically how we want each column to be imported. And there's one more thing I wanted to show you. Remember how we updated our working directory above right here? Well, we don't necessarily have to do this to import a file. You can just include the entire path in this read CSV function. Sometimes you have to include this R before the quoted path. When we run this, and then the next line, we see that it imported correctly. And that's it for this video. Hopefully this has given you some tools to help you import your CSV files into a pandas data frame. If you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to get more content. Thanks for watching.